Students, welcome to our channel. In today's Hindu editorial analysis, we are going to discuss an editorial which came in the Hindu newspaper that is regarding low carbon resilience development. And this particular article is related to GS paper 2 mains component of Indian polity. So let's go into the today's editorial article friends. So this is a particular article, a law around low carbon climate resilient development. So this particular article is considered to be very much important for your GS paper 2 component friends. The reason being that especially in March, the March month of this 2024, this year only, Supreme Court came out with a very landmark judgment regarding environmental protection in India. So this is going to be very much important for this year mains examination and next year prelims examination as well. So we will try to look at the basics of this uh, first uh, this concept and then we will come and discuss the editorial concepts as well friends. So basically in this article they are actually discussing about a Supreme Court judgment as I said it was delivered in March month. So this case was about MK. Ranjit Singh versus Union of India that is MK Ranjit Singh and others versus Union of India 2024. So in this particular uh, case only friends uh, our uh, Chief Justice of India and his other uh, judges in a bench they have delivered a judgment and this particular judgment what they have told is that that is already under article 14 and article 21 which are there in the fundamental rights of our Indian constitution. So within these both of these rights there is additionally an implicit right which was uh, added in that and that has been uh, delivered by the Supreme Court judgment. So what they have added is that they said that now article 14 and 21 will also include that is the right to be safeguarded against the adverse impacts of climatic change. Friends, for understanding this concept, let's first uh, try to understand the basics of this uh, uh, judgment uh, so that we will get a clarity why this particular uh, judgment was given and then we will also try to understand some of the concept clarity today. Uh, with the help of the editorials that is some of the challenges in implementation of the judgment okay friends in this particular uh, judgment actually what happened is that in the state of Rajasthan and Gujarat there is a lot of overhead power transmission lines which has been uh, basically constructed by the state governments uh, for transmission of electricity and most of these overhead power cables are passing through the critical uh, most of the habitats of great Indian bustard and this particular bird is considered to be in the critical uh, endangered category. So for that purpose, uh, a person who was a wildlife enthusiast, he has approached the Supreme Court and he has asked for protection of this particular bird because this bird is already placed in the critically endangered category and that deserves protection. So in this particular uh, judgment which was led by our Chief Justice of India Chandra Sud, what he has said is that um, especially while protecting this uh, great Indian bustard for the better protection we need to uh, check out the habitat loss because this bird is facing lot of challenges. One of that is due to the climatic change uh, impact because this uh, bird can survive mainly in the grasslands friends. And for that glasslands, what is the problem is due to climatic change impact, their habitat is getting reduced. Not only that, even due to the transmission, power transmission cable lines, which has been built inside these particular habitats where these birds reside also, is creating a hazard to the survival of this great Indian bustard. So due to this, uh, while looking at this particular uh, case friends, the Chief Justice of India, he said that the main problem uh, which is actually ensuring the survival of this bird is that the habitat loss as well as the power transmission lines. So regarding the habitat loss only, he has came out with this uh, landmark judgment where he has asked that um, that is uh, for this uh, better survival of these animal species, this is already included under right to life. That is uh, right to life of this bird also is included under right to life and personal liberty of article 21 of fundamental rights in Indian constitution. So additionally friends even in our DPSP that is under article 48A as well as under article 51AG. 
So, Article 41, uh, 48A, this talks about uh, the environmental protection and Article 51, AG, this talks about the wildlife conservation. So, in this particular landmark judgment, the Chief Justice of India, he looked into both the fundamental rights of the Indian Constitution as well as the DPSP together and he said that uh, here after the article 14 and 21 which includes actually because for your right to life what is very very essential is we require right to clean environment that is clean and stable environment and this particular judgment also has been added that is a landmark judgment before has been given in a case famous case which is called as MC Mehta versus Kamalnath case. Friends, all these Supreme Court judgments we need to remember while writing mains answers because whenever we write these Supreme Court judgments in our answers, we will be getting half a mark extra. So, it is always better to try to remember the name of the Supreme Court judges along with the uh, judgments which they are delivering. So, in this MC Mehta versus Kamalnath case only, the Supreme Court came out with a landmark judgment that is a right to life and personal liberty also includes right and clean and stable environment. So, this has been guaranteed under this only. So, now the Chief Justice of India while looking at the especially the right to life because the right to life includes the right of survival of this animal species that is great Indian bustard. So, that includes right of stable environment. For the stable environment, the biggest threat is the climatic change. So, what he has said is that hereafter the right uh, under fundamental rights 14 and 21 also includes that is the right to be safeguarded against the adverse impacts of climatic change. So, this is a big landmark judgment friends. So, now what are the big implications which are going to happen in India? So, this is what we need to remember because this can be asked in the UPSC examination and we need to understand also today's article with the help of these implications only because this particular judgment has been delivered in the month of March only this year and now what is the update regarding that is after this particular judgment now every state governments because the state governments they have under the DPSP to frame a law for the better protection of environment because after this law uh, Supreme Court uh, landmark judgment what is understood is that now states should provide for legal basis for environmental protection. So, this is something uh, on lines of creating a law for protection of better environment. So, this is going to be very much challenging friends. Reason being that implementing uh, such a law that is for a better protection of uh, environment will have major challenges for better successful outcomes. So, reason being that uh, for a better environmental protection, there is a big problem being that in India, we always have a problem of development versus environment. One thing is if you want to protect the environment, then again, we need to also focus on development. So, we are in the dilemma. So, this is going to have a big implications. So, while finding a solution, we need to go for low carbon growth. So, this today's particular article is regarding that only. And suppose after the Supreme Court judgment, if state governments are going to come out with this uh, creation of this climate law, so they what are the challenges they will face and what suggestions can be given for the successful implementation and better protection of the rights which is now guaranteed by the Supreme Court in this landmark judgment. This is what this editorial is all about friends. Overall in this editorial we need to remember as I usually say a maximum of 5 points and today also we will try to cover only a maximum of 5 points that is as we have discussed in the concept that is the need is now to create a climate law that is a concept of climate law. Now what are some of the major challenges the state governments will be facing is that whenever they are creating such a climate law the usual approach in India will be that is a top down approach. The top down approach the biggest problem is we will not take into consideration of the people who are in the lower ladder, especially the vulnerable communities, the indigenous tribal peoples and their rights, their voiceovers needs to be understood because just because we need to go for renewable energy to reduce the, especially the, uh, that is the negative impact on environment or to reduce the negative impact of climatic change, we need to go for uh, renewable energy growth means. What is the problem is renewable energy projects sometimes can also lead to displacement 
ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಬಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ನೇಟಿವ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಲೈಕ್ ವೈಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಯರ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಡೌನ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಸಚ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಪನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಥರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಡಿಷನಲಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನೌ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಜಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎಂ ಕೆ ರಂಜಿತ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನೌ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಚ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನೌ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟು ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ so now uh, we need to go for a balanced uh, thing between this growth and better environmental protection so the growth has to be narrowed down to a low carbon focused growth so this is something this authors are also suggesting so when we go for low carbon growth we need to focus more on renewable energy technologies and green technological uh, especially better technologies which can reduce the pollution we should go for it so this is also a dilemma which will be mostly going through because while going for such projects it will be uh, requiring lot of uh, cost and investment and that cannot be feasible all the times so these are some of the challenges the state governments will be usually going through because when the supreme court delivers a judgment the state governments needs to uh, implement it on ground so when we need to go for better environmental protection it will surely come in conflict with growth and that is something we need to take care also additionally friends uh, this particular authors here also for, for the better protection of the supreme court judgment that is regarding protection of people against the adverse effect of climatic change we should create two low carbon development body mechanism that is one body should be a technical body and other body should have some kind of administrative exper- expertise so one body what this author is telling is that the technical body or expert body should be named as low carbon development commission and this low carbon development commission should uh, whenever uh, any state governments while implementing an environmental projects it comes in dilemma or if it is executing project which is affecting the environment or if it is leading to more climatic change they will suggest for low carbon growth at the time also if those renewable energy projects if they are suggesting and implementing if it is affecting vulnerable people this low carbon development commission will have a interaction with that kind of vulnerable communities if any of their rights or anything is violated means they will take into concern of that so for understanding all this and to come out with a better technical uh suggestion the reason being that we need to go for low carbon growth means we need to come up with very creative technologies for that we need such a expert body additionally friends what this author is suggesting is that we should all, we should also create an administrative body that is named as climate cabinet so this climate cabinet is saying that it should uh, consist of the important core cabinet ministers that is a central government ministers uh, they should be included here additionally the cms of state government should also be included here and they should have a better coordinated mechanism to uh, implement such a law in india in additionally friends this author is also talking about one of the crucial challenge in implementing the supreme court judgment is also to have a better engagement for the state governments and central governments and as well as at the local government level so that is the engagement at federal structures so this is going to be a big important thing reason being that uh, at the indian level we know at the federal level we have central government state governments and local governments especially this author is talking about the lo- local governments they should be given some technology transfer or better scientific uh, technology transfer from central governments or state governments to utilize or implement the projects so that they don't suffer from climate change impacts that is something these authors are suggesting that can happen only when the federal structure is having a proper interaction between them additionally friends these authors are also talking about the importance of financing the local governments in india 
reason being that we know the central government usually through its centrally sponsored schemes it, it allots a lot of funds to state and central government that is local government while implementing or transferring such kind of schemes or funds this author is suggesting they should take into consideration of low carbon growth technology also while implementing it additionally these authors are also talking about coming out with a scientific capacity there is a central and state government while coming out with such kind of uh, interactions of low carbon growth technological mechanism are developing such kind of goals in uh, reducing the impacts of climatic change they should have a proper uh, coordinator goal or vision and interaction so this can open happen in a proper engagement of federal structure and uh, through this we can try to uh, make sure the supreme courts whatever they are uh, guaranteeing in this uh, judgment for better uh, protection of the citizens that is uh, free from the adverse effect of climatic change and asking the state governments also now to come out with a better environmental protection law can only happen when these things are uh, taken into consideration otherwise these challenges will create big implications for uh, especially in the implementation of this uh, particular law in India so this is what this article is all about friends and today's answer rating practice session is all about discuss the major challenges in the implementation of recent Supreme Court judgment on MK Ranjit Singh and others versus Union of India so it is a 10 marker question 150 words friends um, this uh, content for this particular question has been directly covered from today's editorial only so try to re reflect those keywords in your answers and make sure you address the directives discuss whenever you discuss question is asked you should come out with in the structure of the answer along with introduction body and conclusion a way forward should be written friends for the yesterday's question some of you have uh, uh, submitted the answers uh, personally as well as uh, in the other ways also so I will try to discuss those answers also in the coming days uh, as part of this series so uh, I hope this series is useful to you make the most of this series and try to submit your answers in the telegram group which has been given in the description box uh, description box below thanks for watching friends